train stations. Also expecting to see a whole lot of activity today. For more on that, let's head out to Eyewitness News reporter Ross D. Matei, joining us live from 30th Street Station. Busy day for people hopping on board Amtrak. Ross, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Janelle. Action is really picking up here at 30th Street Station. It's been really impressive to see just how smooth everything is running here. I know it's early, but it's been good news, especially for the folks at Amtrak. And I know someone who is happy to hear that news, that being Beth Toll, the Senior Public Relations Manager for Amtrak. Beth, it's great to have you with us this morning. Um, Everything's running smoothly. Everything's going well. Th does that surprise you? Like, how excited are you to see all these folks back after yeah, the pandemic? We're, we're really excited. Um, there's just a, a nice energy about everyone. Every, people are excited to get back out and travel, and we're thrilled that they've chosen to take Amtrak. And I've been talking with a lot of these passengers, and they're not shy about telling me all of the uh, benefits to taking the train versus flying or driving ahead of the holidays. What is the pitch that you tell people to try and win them over and, and to try out Amtrak? Sure. I mean, you can sit back and relax and leave the driving to us. There's no middle seat. We've got generous baggage policies and check-in policies. So, you know, really encourage folks, if you're still looking for a way to get from point A to point B, look at Amtrak. I'm curious about how the numbers compared this year to past years. Obviously, we had the pandemic, which threw a wrench in everything. But how are the numbers looking compared to pre-pandemic and during the pandemic? So we're at about 80% of our ridership pre-pandemic. Uh, for example, in 2019, we saw just under 130,000 uh, folks from the weekend before to the weekend after. And last year, we were just under 95,000. So it's definitely picking up. Yeah, and it's picking up here early as well. And my last question, Beth, is, is just any advice, last minute advice for travelers? I mean, you don't have to give yourself hours ahead of time like you do at the airport, thankfully. Any other advice for people? We encourage people to get here about 30 minutes prior to their train departure just to make sure they have plenty of time to figure out which track they're going to. If you have questions, uh, you may see Amtrak ambassadors in bright yellow vests in some of our major stations. So you can always ask them for uh, advice or questions. It seems really easy. Beth, thank you so much for the help. And everything you're doing today, get through today, and uh, best of luck with everything. Yeah. All right, guys, smooth sailing so far. Everything's on time. We'll let you know if that changes throughout the course of the morning. We're live at 30th Street Station, Ross D. Matei, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Sounds good. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it.